Hi guys, welcome back to the third and final part of this web service tutorial using the iPhone, PHP and an SQL server. In this tutorial, uh, we will finish up, as you can see in the second part, we are putting messages onto your database using the phone and the PHP script. Now we're going to make a return script to turn all of our entries into a JSON format, which we can then put into our table cells. Now, before I start, the way I'm going to do this is basically the most expedient way to show you as fast as possible in a working way. This is not the kind of coding you can use in a real app because it's kind of slapdash and just to show you how it works. If you follow my other tutorials, there's ways to show you how to put things into a data model and properly take them out and put in proper navigation, all that kind of thing. This is just an example of how to do this final step. So. We have to get a return script now to take these entries out. Now, if you see the IDs going from 6 to maybe 20, don't worry, I was messing around earlier trying to get this to work properly. I broke my last version. Anyway, our return script. Now, we have to do roughly the same thing as we did in a lot of ways for the previous part. So we have a PHP, a very saved as getjson.php in my HT docs. So first of all, clear your username, equals uh, root is my username which is going to change, don't worry. Uh, database is equals to new DB, I believe it was. No, test DB, I can see it in the background. Test DB, then my SQL connect local host, comma, and username. Excellent, then my SQL SQL connect, no, select, oh, is it wrong? Select DB uh, database or die just error. Close. Now, this is the return query. Before we're putting in, now we're taking everything out. So, make a query equals select very important all from test so we're selecting all entries from the test if you want to do a custom one you can select say name or a message or ID from test and then you can set a further condition where like if you want to check the IDs more than 10 or values more than something that's up to you to make that's a much more specific query we want to get all the results out of this table so then we have to do our final roundup uh, results equals my SQL query brackets and query query or die my SQL error one two three let's write to me uh, now this is the this is something we're going to do now to return all of our variables. So just bear with me while I type this out. SQL num of rows result my SQL close. Okay, but doesn't end there. Now we have to get all our results out into rows of an array. So how do we do that? Watch. Rows equals array. Empty array. I make a while loop. While to do, do, do variable or equals to my sq my sql fetch associated results. So as you can just see, it's, you can probably put together yourself fetch associated results. Bracket, bracket, yeah. Construct our little one. We want to return our rows. Empty equals or close and then echo JSON in code rows. Now, as I said, this isn't a tutorial in PHP or all this kind of thing, but all this is doing is taking all our results, put them into rows, and print them out in a JSON format for us to view. And I think that's it. So I'm going to save that. 
and I'm going to quickly test our get JSON value localhost uh, get JSON .php. no line 19 I have an error whatever line 19 is because it doesn't bloody give us the line numbers unless you ask for it ah no that can't be it I'm going to pause for one second find the error Okay, I had to pause there. I actually had results, not result for that. That's why I was saying problem, problem, problem. So if you try loading that URL localhost slash getjson.php, you see, well, you can see your own ones, but you can see that it's returning an array of a uh, dictionary. So that's what you want. Okay, once you have that, if you didn't get it right, just look, load that file, tell you what errors were. So now we have to go into our